for the first game of the video we got ourselves Stacey Sauce and Phantoms against Jay Hensley, Shark Party, and Ninja. Let's get into it. The clear from him. I feel like it's solo standard. I haven't played a whole lot of solo standard in, in a while now, but I don't know if people pass more than they used to. I was gonna say it's better to play more passive and kind of let your teammates do whatever they want to do and play off of them because you never really know what you're going to get in terms of your teammates if someone wants to be more aggressive or if someone wants to be more defensive so kind of just use the first minute as like a feeler and go from there i think it's the best way to go about it i'm gonna wait here for this bounce it's a decent 50 try to get some pads let my teammate go for that next i always try to rotate behind them there we go now. Phantom should be up next for this. Should have that clear. And they might have a touch cross. Always be ready, even if it doesn't come through. Always be in position for it. Try to just bang that home. Off the wall. So I couldn't get a shot. At least we can get a decent pass out of it. Nice speed. Good block as well. I'll just leave that there and back off again. Oh, good save. I thought I wasn't gonna get to it to be honest. So I went. Really good block. You should have this again though, so I'll wait. There's a chance it could go middle. And here's when you want to kind of be careful because they could get a clear over us. It leads straight to a goal. There's also a chance that you could score, so. Try to be ready to be in a position that you can cover both of those options. There's a scoring opportunity, be there. There's a chance that they might bang it toward your goal. Be ready for that as well, of course. That should be a goal. We had a lot of pressure so far, but... You honestly don't need to do anything too crazy in Soul Standard. Most of the time you get goals off of the other team just making mistakes. So just be ready, you know. Be in position to be there for passes or, you know, whatever you need to be there for. Soul Standard is a really good way to practice your positioning, though, and what you should be going for and what you shouldn't be. But here, for example, I should just back off because I'm probably not going to win this challenge. My teammates are going to have a much easier ball if I leave that. In this situation, my teammates are rotating back. I see that, so I'll just go for the touch. I'll try to just bang it away. That's going to be all for me for that play, and I can grab their boost since I'm landing here. Might as well keep my momentum up. And selling their boost is always a good thing as well. Got a kill on one. It's a pretty important kill. Now it's just going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Try to get a, a power shot with the backflip. There we go. Also look for demos like that. In that situation, I realized both are going to be double committing. So if I kill the last guy back and they miss it, it's going to be an empty net for us, right? Ended up spawning back and I had to get a pretty good power shot in order to score that. But even then, that was a pretty good play to eliminate that one person. Good try and a save. He messed up his double jump. I got you, Hassan. He messed up his double jump, but it should have been pretty easily saveable, to be honest. Right there, you can see he just single jumped it and he couldn't get to it in time. But definitely a saveable shot. I wasn't too fast for him. It was a slight mistake. It's no big deal though. I'll try to kill one on the way out. When you're rotating out, it's never a bad idea to go for a demo like that. Frees up a lot of space. Helps a ton. Allows your teammate to get boost and try to, you know, turn and keep that pressure up. One of my teammates went AFK. So we gotta play extra careful now because we're 2v3 for a second. So I don't want to throw myself away here. The challenge isn't worth it. Wait for the bounce. Might even be able to shoot this. All right, we're 2v3 now. Let's see if we can do it. I'm going to play extra patient. I think it's the way to go here. You know, rank throws things like this your way and you have to just be ready for it because you can't control it at the end of the day, right? There's no point in getting upset about it. Not much you can do to control it. Try to hit it to the corner, keep it in a safe place. Saw my teammate jump, so I'm gonna wait. Wait for his touch here. He's gonna have one more. I should be patient on this. There we go, it's fine. I would like to keep that close to me instead of what my teammate did, but it's okay. Try to force that his touch to be above me. That way they couldn't get a hit downfield. And if it wasn't above me, I would have had a 50 on him. 
All right, playing pretty well so far. I'm just gonna fake challenges. Again, I don't wanna push too far forward. We have a goal lead, but it is 2v3. So we don't have that extra player if there's a mistake on a challenge. Like right there, for example, if I wasn't in a good position to get back, would have probably been a goal against us. I'm just gonna take the boost and leave. Miss should be next, give me a free ball. I'll let him have that. That's fine, I could take this. Oh, we're just playing smart in this situation. Try to see if I can read him on a dunk there or something. Hopefully the boost comes back. There we go. If I can get this, I'll just play it downfield. Wait for his touch here. I'm just going to hit this back and high. That way my teammate can deal with it. Did around one. You should have that pretty easily. I have 30 boosts back now. Again, still trying to play this safe. They're both double committing. Probably getting frustrated because they're not scoring at a 2v3. And there we go. Should be the game. I don't even have to panic. Had a 2v3 the last little bit of it, but we ended up winning. So it matters. Good job for my teammate Phantoms. Uh, unfortunate to my teammate who ended up DCing, I guess. I don't think he had much to say in that. I mean, we were winning. I doubt he left on purpose. Yeah, we won the 2v3. So definitely can't complain there. Happy with that. And we played pretty smart all around the board. They didn't really have any way of winning that, I feel like. But yeah, let's get into the next one, see if we can keep it up, and hopefully it's 3v3 the whole time. <laughs> let's go. Alright, for the last game of the video, we're playing against Dapper. Ooh, Dapper, Destin, and Dirty Dan, and we have Alex and 124 on our team. This is going to be a tough game. It's going to be really tough. Dapper alone makes this match a lot tougher, especially with his experience. The teammates double quitted straight off the bat, which is a little bit rough. Nice. I didn't have to panic for that or anything. I recognize a lot of the players in this lobby right off the bat. Played the majority of them in Grand Champ already. Be hard for him to reach that. Not a very good touch. All right, so far it's a little bit, a little bit sketchy on defense. I won't lie. What I've seen, but it's okay. That just means we have to try to play more patient, play back more because they are making quite a few mistakes so far. Like I said, I always try to play around what your team's doing the best you can. I'm gonna wait. I have full boost here to deal with this. Play middle. Two double committed for that. It's pretty big. It's decent. That's gonna have a clear to me there, probably. That's pretty good. Close on that. Do I can turn on this? Should be good for us if he challenges. Oh, it's actually kind of rough to deal with. Literally almost went straight in. Wait for Alex's touch. It's gonna be high. Probably can't get to that ball. Let's see if I can just pop it over him, but defended it well. I'll have to watch Dapper here. Got a kill on one, which helps for sure. Teammate missed again. It's been a lot of misses this game. A lot more than you'd expect from a lobby of majority grand champs, but. Let's see what we can do still. Maybe we got scored on yet, which is good. Definitely helps. Gonna wait for this touch. Well, somebody passed back. This could be good too. There we go. That was really tough to shoot. But we just had to play smart now. That's all we gotta do. We got a goal lead. I got a kill on Dapper. That was a pretty big kill. And then I beat both of them to the ball. I was able to get a shot out of it. Now, all we gotta do is play smart. The best way about this. Because there was a lot of panicking, a lot of misses on defense that I saw from my team so far. So I don't really want to leave them in situations where they have to play defense. I'm just gonna try to play smart here. Try to win decent 50s. Hopefully they can challenge that. Not too bad. He's able to 50 all three to my other team. And we're still in a position where we can defend this pretty easily. Let us challenge this. Wait for his touch. I'll take the boost, hopefully. Okay, I'll just back off now. That's the end of my play forward. As soon as that boost got taken. Good job. Well done, well done. Playing off their mistakes very well so far. 
So Dapper made a mistake of just <laughs> challenging too far forward there. Like it's not his fault to challenge that. He's trusting his teammate, but at the end of the day, in Soul Standard, you can't always have faith that everybody's gonna hit everything. His teammate should have probably had that last pack. But at the same time, my teammates have also been missing a lot of chances that they shouldn't have been. So you have to expect that kind of thing in Soul Standard. Just a lot of no one trusting anybody <laughs> type thing. Got a bump on him at least. He should have this or all up. It's a big beat if he gets it. One more, hopefully. Try to tap that up. I right, was leaving it for me, so I'll just take this. Good follow from Dapper. Hopefully one of my teammates can challenge. They both ended up going, which isn't terrible here. I could probably have a free ball out of this. Try to get it over one. Teammate could take it out, it's fine. Hoping I can kill Dapper here. That's probably gonna be a goal, unfortunately. Yeah. Again, you should have had that on the wall. That's a soul setter is, it seems like. It's just a lot of misses that shouldn't be a thing. Like that should have been a hit for sure. But it's all good. I got too aggressive and I left them back for way too long. So oftentimes you'll get scored on in situations like that. Probably gonna miss this realistically. Based on what I've seen so far this game, it's just been a lot of misses. I don't like playing Soul Sand, that's why I'm currently unranked, because I feel like it creates a lot of bad habits just reading misses all the time, especially when I'm used to playing nothing but pros all the time. They don't miss very often, so getting used to that like different mindset of expecting people to miss everything is really awkward. Like Alex should not have jumped for that like that. It made me wait. And it was also like he was super far off of the ball. So if he didn't jump at all, I probably would have been able to react quick enough to save that. But me just looking at him, expecting him to be able to get that, kind of slows down. My chances of saving it. Okay, I'm getting way too aggressive trusting every touch. So we're back even again. Like I said, I will do one more video of Soul Standard just to see what rank we get. We end up on. We'll see. Not sure what to expect in terms of where we're going to rank at, but we'll see what we get. Play teammate can follow that. I'm just gonna go, I guess, because I don't know what's gonna, gonna happen there. Yeah, I was just trying to interfere for him. There we go, we're into overtime. Probably shouldn't have been into overtime, but it's alright. Decent kickoff. See if we can get a shot, maybe. I'm in behind, Dapper's gonna have a banger. He's up for that, but I could just get a control touch. No boost here. Teammate should have. Nice. It's a good follow up. I have a bad feeling about this game for some reason. It's a good 50. I know it was there to capitalize though. Everyone was a little bit too far back. I'll take this. Good challenge for him. I would have probably had a air dribble bump on that. Just try to bump him. Okay, good touch. That's gonna be awkward. No boost here. I'll just try to backflip flick this as high as I can. Force another double commit. Pretty big. Try to go for this quick. But the beat dapper is pretty dangerous him being there. Okay. Could have been rough again. Teammate should have this pretty easily. But so far this game has not been that way. The easy aerials have not been hit at all by anybody, it seems like. It's just been very confusing. When you guys ask me why I don't play solo standard, this game is a pretty good reason why. <laughs> Pretty much sums up my uh, my reasoning, just because it's just so random. There's too many misses and no one really trusts each other. It's not played out threes should be played, I feel like. There's no trust in anybody. 
Reducing 50. I hit this over to my teammate. That's gonna be a goal probably. Unless he can get a touch on this. Nice. Should I grab this mid boost if I can? Not sure to get in the way. I'll leave it for my teammate. He's to try on the shot there. Oh no, he missed again, didn't he? Oh, he actually touched that one. That was one of the hardest ones so far that he had to hit, and he that's the one he hits. Somehow. And he jumps so awkwardly forward again. His problem, if I had to give him a tip on how to fix his problem of why he's missing so much, is he's just jumping too early. He's panicking on a lot of these touches. He has a lot more time to work with it. Good challenge. Okay, I gotta wait here. I'm gonna try to challenge for my team again. I don't have much boost, so it's gonna be all of my teammate. This is gonna be like a super long overtime, or it's gonna end soon, I don't know. I can't tell. It's either gonna be like, within the next minute it's over, or it's gonna be another like five minutes, I feel like. Teammate should have that. I'm just gonna rotate behind him. Oh, that's a big, big beat from him. That's huge as well. If he can just shoot, oh, not the best shot. Everything else was good. The shot was just way too slow. This is a good attempt though. Good for him to be in that position at least. Did my teammate get that? Probably gonna have more touches, so I'll just wait. Teammate should have this. Nice challenge. His space with the ball here. Went for the pass, which is good, actually. Like that a lot. But he went for that. Pass over to him. And positioning for him. We have a decent amount of chances coming through now. That should be the end right there. It's not, not the best touch from Dapper, and he's in a really bad spot. Deal with that. I just a really good 50 as well. But yeah, good games all on the board. I probably shouldn't have went to OT. There's so many misses. So many misses. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, whatever time is in it right now. Watching this, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. I love you all. And yeah, we'll have some more solo standard in the next one. And we'll find out our rank. So yeah, peace, guys.